Hi, this is Billy Hollis with Bites for MSDN, and now we're talking with Richard Campbell, my good friend, regional director, and uh, works in a lot of interesting tech businesses and, and co-host.net rocks TV. Mm -hmm. What are you spending a little of your time on these days? Well, I, I like to say I've harnessed my ADD for the forces of good. That's right. right. <laughs> I like to work on a lot of different things. So uh, they have drugs for that, but you're not going to take them because you're channeling it another way. Yeah, just go somewhere else. So, oh, well, you know, <laughs> look, shiny. <laughs> I'll do that. Uh, certainly .net rocks is a big part of my, my life and my, my work. Uh, one way or the other. We do a lot of shows now. I mean, we've just published show 500. 500, yes. Talk so, to Carl about that. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot of shows. So just planning those. You're always thinking three, six months in advance what people are going to care about. And then besides DNR, I also do Run As Radio, which is the IT-oriented show, because I sort of yeah. have my head in both spaces. I didn't know that. Of course, not being in IT, I didn't realize yeah. you did that. Back when I did real work, and once in a while I still do real work. It doesn't happen <laughs> very often. Uh, I, 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 I largely work on scaling systems, and, and mostly that means web these days. But yes. it used to not mean only web. And so I'm, I'm quite fluent in, on, on IIS and in SQL Server, and just dealing with what does it take to make the systems bigger and make them run yeah. well. And that's where Strange Loop came from. Was uh, I worked with a group of folks who were all really good at scaling websites, and, and there was so this realization that we were doing the same things over and over, over and over again. again yeah. There's certain techniques and approaches, and you learn the sort of cases where you know, it makes sense to cache here, it makes sense to, to reduce payload mm -hmm. here, and so forth. And so ultimately what we've done now is uh, built an appliance that sits in front of your web farm and analyzes the traffic and finds ways to yeah. make it go faster. So marry a lot of that developer side with the infrastructure side, Absolutely. which there isn't as much of that as there should be. But, th but that means that, I mean, you, you span both sides there, mm -hmm. you talk to everybody under the sun yes. on .NET Rocks TV, and you get a look at what's going on. Constantly. Uh, what, in, in the cycle that we've got now, the whole VS 2010 cycle coming up, what, what do you see as making an impact there that you sort of maybe didn't expect going in that it would? I mean, Studio 2010 is a pretty awesome version of Studio Generally. I'm just so glad to see WPF get some love, mm -hmm. to see it really applied internal to Microsoft. I think that's important uh, uh, visually. But for me, the, the feature that people still haven't gotten, it's been around for a while, it's been around since 2005, is the database pro features. Sure. So this is really about treating your database schema like it's source code. Mm -hmm. That, you know, normally, and I've been the DBA, right? I've, I've worn that hat, that's why I, you know, I look like this. I'm so tense. Because a DBA's job is scary. The big difference between him and a coder is a coder can just replace code. If you replace the database, you destroy all the data. Right, and right. So a DBA's life is change scripts. It's how do I determine what version I'm currently on in the database, yeah. and how do I alter the database to become the next version? And that methodology is just so agonizing because it's totally one way. You know, there's no way to roll back a database chain script. It's really painful. Right. As developers, we tend to brute force a lot of that stuff. You can just do that. Yeah. Because you can take the old code away, put the new code in. Me, if I throw out all the customers, I'm in big trouble. Yeah. yeah. So what the database edition of Studio has done, and it used to be a separate SKU, but now it's in like, right, the right. premium edition and above, is it lets you just focus on the schema, and it'll write the chain scripts for you. You don't even have to think yeah. about it. Which, uh, we lazy developers. Well, it's, We're into it's, that, man. It's magic. Right? Yeah. The idea that now I check in my database schema like I check in source code, it's part yeah. of a version, and then there's a set of tools that are part of the deployment that will simply look at the database, figure out the changes, and fly the scripts. Yeah. And that's it. So now I can actually roll back. Yeah. And in fact, one of the things they've done a really good job of is be very careful with data. So say you add a column. You go version four to version three, and in version three they add a column, and now it's run for a while, they put some data into it, and you go, we got to move back to version two. When it does that undo script, it won't take the column out. Oh, really? It's careful. Oh, that it's is always oh, cautious with because the data. it doesn't. It can just leave it there. Start it just leave using it, there. it. Exactly. So, it will okay. lift the constraints off it. So yeah. now that your old version doesn't work with it, the constraints are out of the way. It doesn't harm the. Data. I didn't realize it had that much intelligence. Well, and, and if you don't like that, you can easily alter that behavior. You can add post scripts yeah. and say, after you're done, drop that column. Yeah. I really don't need it. Yeah. So it's it's really bright. I absolutely love Visual Studio, but it just it's so hard to know all of the good. stuff. Like there's too much stuff. Do. There's it's so massive. much stuff in it. And this is the thing that frustrates me with the database thing is it's always been good. It's getting better. You know, the big thing in 2010 is now they're interesting uh, introducing stuff like support for Oracle. Mm -hmm. So you can actually, you know, go over to the other side if Still you want. Still do all of that schema based stuff and just have it. But now do it in Oracle as well. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, for a long time we've seen people that just are how do I deal with this? Yeah. Thing? 
dude, there's a product for that. <laughs> didn't you know there's a product for that? And no, they didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, even some similar, s some simple features I've noticed that I use in Visual Studio, I'll see people looking over my shoulder going, I didn't know. How did you do that? How did you do that? Do I that again. <laughs> or, do, or do it in a demo on stage Absolutely. Or yeah. Well, thank you, Richard. That has been Bytes by MSDN. This is Billy Hollis talking to my good friend Richard Campbell about uh, quite a wide variety of things. Hope that you found something fun to listen to today.